Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. This morning while coming to work, I was listening to radio and there was a, an interview with a lady, a, a research scientist concerning the sounds of birds. What this whole thing was about was that some people have noticed that during this pandemic, the birds have seemed to have gotten louder. And so they interviewed this lady. I think she lived in England and next to the airport there. And she was talking about her research. Of course, she has been uh, uh, in her house most of the time. But she said she would take a walk once a day with her dog, would go outside. And that she recorded some birds. And uh, in this recording, they played this, the, the sounds of the birds and all. And then the sounds of the birds when a plane was taking off. And uh, after all this kind of research and study and all this, what they found out was as we have gotten outside and listened, the sound of the birds, really, they are not louder, they are softer. And that is with all the noise, that's when the birds have to get louder. And then we can still barely hear them. And I kept thinking, isn't that the way it is with the Word of God? Isn't that with the voice of God as He speaks to us? He's been speaking to us all along. I just I saw some things in Scripture just blew my mind about the way the Lord has spoken to us. I mean, He has spoken to us in whirlwinds and earthquakes and thunder and lightning and all that. But the Scripture I wanted to share this day is from 1 Kings 19, 1 Kings 19, verse 12. And there we see, after the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. In some translations, a still, small voice. That was God. If you read that whole thing, what that, that scripture is about is Elijah, he's already put a whooping on those Baal prophets. He wiped them out. And there is very great victory. And then a lady steps in named Jezebel. And because Jezebel threatens to kill Elijah, he goes to pouting. He goes crying off. He's wanting to die. He's, uh, he doesn't know what's going to happen. Great victory. And then that great depression that he went through. Kind of sounds like our lives sometime, right? We have great victories that God gives us. And then one little thing happens. The th wrong thought gets put in our head. And oh, woe is me. I can't do anything else. But there we see the Lord was not in the fire, but it was through a gentle whisper. God has got our attention. The birds are not louder. They're softer. But we can hear them because we, all, we put all this other stuff to the side right now. But what about listening to God? Have you truly put everything to the side or are you letting worry? Are you letting uh, the threat of what might happen take your joy away? God has been speaking to you all along. Listen to Him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, You've been speaking to us all along, all our lives. And with all the things in the world, we didn't hear You. But now we've been made to be quiet, to be still. And Lord, we hear that sweet voice of Yours. You love us. you got a plan for us, a purpose for us. And Lord, thank you that you're still speaking to us. Let us li listen. Let us look toward these times that we have of being blessed by just listening to you. In Jesus' name, amen. May this day you hear that gentle voice of God.